Mattel's been making Disney Pixar Cars diecast ever since the first movie came out back in 2006. The thing is, it was only supposed to last one year, but it ended up being so successful, now it's been going on for over 17 years with no end in sight. And that's given us a lot of Lightning McQueen diecast. I won't spoil anything, but I will say there are over 100 on this list. Hello everyone and welcome to Rusty Studios, where today I'll be ranking every mainline Lightning McQueen diecast ever made. Along with some promos too, because without them we get into some issues later. It's worth noting that I won't be counting any re-releases unless the McQueen had a different name, a new accessory, or if he started being made in a different way. I'm also not counting any side series unless that series was somehow part of the mainline or eventually became part of the mainline. So like, I do count cards on the road as mainline. And the last thing is I'll be ranking the diecast within the year they were released, and then at the end of the video, I'll do the ultimate final ranking with all the McQueens. So without further ado, let's begin all the way back in 2006. This year brought us the Desert Series card backs, along with the first ever three Lightning McQueen diecast. It's worth noting that none of the McQueens this year had any logos on their spoilers. So no Rusty's logos, no Dynaco logos, no nothing yet. So this year I'll be putting Dirt Trek Lightning McQueen in third place. He was released once in a playset and once in this sealed set where he got his own exclusive card art. While I like the matte finish, it's still a little bit strange that his teeth aren't painted in. And I'll be putting Dynaco Lightning McQueen in second place, because in first place is the original Lightning McQueen diecast. Don't worry, the regular Lightning McQueen won't be taking up the top spot on every year. It's just the fact that this was the original, and he basically set the standards for what a McQueen variant is supposed to look like. Moving on to 2007, this year introduced the Supercharged series, and brought with it a ton of new McQueens. I ended up putting Bugmouth Lightning McQueen in seventh place for this year, because he's really just a regular Lightning McQueen with some black dots on his teeth. I put Tongue Lightning McQueen in 6th place for his side facing eyes and his fully metal tongue, Cruising Lightning McQueen in 5th for his sleek metallic paint job, and his new expression with the lower eyelids. Cactus Lightning McQueen is in 4th place because it's funny how he looks just as disappointed as he did in the movie when he crashed into the cactus. I gave the 3rd place spot to Radiator Springs Lightning McQueen because of his surprisingly new expression, along with another metallic paint job. Bling Bling Lightning McQueen made it to the 2nd place spot because of his only real flaw being the fact that the piston cups on his rims aren't painted gold but having an otherwise movie-accurate design, even capturing him where he looks off to the side. And the number one spot for this year went to Blu-ray Lightning McQueen for being an incredible-looking metallic Dynaco Lightning McQueen with the Dynaco logo on a spoiler, which is a huge upgrade from the one he got last year. Now we're in 2008 when Mattel introduced its World of Cars line. Not as many new Lightning McQueens this year, but the ones we did get were great. I did put Tar Lightning McQueen in last place because even though he is a pretty recognizable paint job, Otherwise, there's not much to his design. In third place is Lightning McQueen with bumper stickers. He does have the tar stain, and but he also has some white wall tires and some bumper stickers that say Kingston, Barstow, and Sam Bernardino. Above that is Spin Out Lightning McQueen. He's very detailed with tires on his eyes that are made of plastic, and I like how the fence piece on the back connects the wires as part of the metal mold. But the number one spot for this year has to go to Lightning Storm Lightning McQueen. Not only was he the first ever Deluxe Lightning McQueen diecast, well, they were called Mega Size at the time, but you know what I mean. But he was a great example of how Mattel wasn't afraid to branch out and make things like determined Dynaco Lightning McQueens with wings that cost slightly more than the regular diecast. Next up is 2009, the introduction of the Racerama line, not to be confused with the game, and Lenticulars, which I do consider to be part of the main line with a gimmick rather than a completely separate side series. And the last play spot for this year is Lenticular Dirt Track Lightning McQueen. I've already said that I think it's a little weird that his teeth were never painted in and they doesn't have the Rusty's logo on his spoiler. I'm not really the biggest fan of lenticulars either, but if he is one of your favorites, there's nothing wrong with that. Next is Lenticular Radiator Springs Lightning McQueen. I like the design more than Dirt Track Lightning McQueen, but something about him being metallic makes the eyes look a little bit off, followed by Lenticular Dynaco Lightning McQueen, who has the same problem with the eyes, but this year he does have the Dynaco logo on his spoiler, so that's incredible to see. I just wish Mattel started putting that Dynaco logo on regular Dynaco Lightning McQueens from that point on, but for some reason they never really got to it. I still prefer Bling Bling Latin McQueen's design a little bit more, so Lenticular Bling Bling Latin McQueen got spot above him. Next up is regular Lenticular Latin McQueen, who I think was the best Lenticular this year. His paint's not too shiny or glossy, so the moving eyes effect works really well. After that is White Wells Latin McQueen. He's identical to Latin McQueen with bumper stickers, except for no bumper stickers, of course. And I really just like the fancy White Wall tires. Then there's Tumbleweed Latin McQueen, who I think is really funny. He has a new annoyed expression, and the Tumbleweed is really detailed. Then it's Impound Latin McQueen. He has a scared, confused expression, and the boot on his tire does work the same way it works in the movie, allowing you to move his tire slightly forward or slightly backward before being stopped. It's also got little rust details, 
Finish line, Lightning McQueen is in the sixth place spot. His back tires look like they've been popped. His tongue is a soft plastic. His expression does a good job at showing how it's stressed out he is about his situation. If you like the pop tires, then you're really going to like the fifth place spot. Synthetic rubber tires, Lightning McQueen. He's exactly what the name would imply, being a regular Lightning McQueen with synthetic rubber tires. While I'm not sure you're supposed to do it, the tires can be removed to make it look like they're popped. And he was kind of like Precision Series Lightning McQueen before the Precision Series even existed. After that is Aggro Lightning McQueen. Technically just called Lightning McQueen, but you can tell that these two are very different. So close to the top of this list due to his great expression. Depending on how you look at it, he can be annoyed or angry, or he can just be determined. And it's so rare for us to get angry Lightning McQueens. In third place is Night Vision Lightning McQueen. He came with this pamphlet and he has so many details going on. He's got the tar stain, the white wall tires, and the movie accurate night vision goggles above his eyes. One of my favorites. Second place spot is going to Dynaco Light McQueen with Piston Cup. It would have been cool to see a regular Light McQueen with Piston Cup, but it still fulfills the same purpose. Dynaco Light McQueen himself is nothing new, but the accessory makes him different. The Piston Cup says Champion and Light McQueen, so you can still use it with a regular Light McQueen if you wanted. Now, the number one spot for 2009 goes to Golden Cruising Lightning McQueen. He came in the Ultimate Cars gift track along with a Rescue Squad Mater, who was also metallic, and a DVD and Blu-ray of cars. He uses the same mold as Cruising McQueen, but he has this fantastic paint job meant to look gold. It may be a small change, but it was an incredible one. Alright, moving on to 2010. This year introduced the Drifting Series, also known as Night Skyline Cardbacks or City Skyline Cardbacks. And it had a ton of new McQueens. There were 19 new releases, and that's more than any other year on the list. Also, please note that there are some rare cases where a diecast like Colin Lightning McQueen was released in 2009, but he was obviously meant to be part of the Dream Series based off his card back, so I ended up putting him in 2010 either way. Moving on. The last place for this year was Lenticular Dirt Track Lightning McQueen with Alternate Expression. I say it's an alternate expression because last year's Lenticulars had eyes that close and open, while these ones have eyes that go from left to right, which sometimes leads to characters looking like they have three or four eyes, and I think it's kind of a downgrade. A lot of the cards this year were new, but they were only slightly different, so I don't want to spend too much time on the description of those. Lenticular Radiator Springs Lightning McQueen with Alternate Expression. He still has this new eyes effect, but at least his eyes aren't as noticeably less reflective as they were last year. Lenticular Cruising Lightning McQueen. And he's new, and I like his design, but he has similar issues to the Radiator Springs Lightning McQueen Lenticular. Lenticular Lightning McQueen with Alternate Expression. He works better than a lot of other Lenticulars because he just looks like a funny-faced Lightning McQueen. And next up is Lenticular Dynaco Lightning McQueen with Alternate Expression. He's got the Dynaco logo again. Lenticular White Walls Latin McQueen. I don't have much news to say about him. I still like his design. Lenticular Bling Bling Latin McQueen with alternate expression with Piston Cup. Fun fact about him. And the accessory got him a higher spot on the list, but we've already gotten a Piston Cup before. Rusty's Latin McQueen. He's a Lenticular with two new eye expressions and has a plastic Rusty's can. This is the first time we've seen a Rusty's can. And I think the new green expression is pretty neat. Lenticular Latin McQueen with Colin. This McQueen has a smaller mouth and squinting eyes and a little plastic cone stuck to his head. It's really expressive and a really fun one to have, but one even better than this is non-lenticular Latin McQueen with cone. He's the same as the lenticular version, but his eyes are a huge improvement. Lenticular Wet Latin McQueen. I gave him the spot right before Wet Latin McQueen, non-lenticular version. Because I remember opening the regular version for the first time and just being amazed by all the water droplet decals. They cover up all the regular decals and the eye plate, and some of them are even molded into the middle. Dynaco Lightning McQueen with Celebrity Signature. Based off what we've seen so far, he should have the four eyes effect, but somehow doesn't, which makes his two expressions end up looking really good. And most importantly, the Celebrity Signature he comes with is really detailed. It has Lightning McQueen's name and little tire prints that are indented. Next up is Lenticular Lightning McQueen with Shovel. I won't really talk about him because in the spot right above him is regular Lightning McQueen with Shovel. Lightning McQueen with Shovel has a very annoyed, scowling expression that really lets you know he is not having a fun time unpaving that road. He might be missing the detail of his tar stain, but the detail in the shovel makes up for that. As Mattel went the extra mile to add dirt detailing. It's really impressive. In the third place spot is my favorite Lentigler, Paint Mask Latin McQueen. He's made using the main mold of a regular Latin McQueen. He has two expressions, one looking to the side, one looking up. And his mouth is really funny to me. It looks like he's saying wow. There are also these detailed white cloth paper things on his right tires. Muddy Latin McQueen is in the second place spot because he seems like an essential, really. His design is kind of simple with the only differences being the mud painted piece on the mouth and the eyes that make them look just done. But like we've seen on this list before, sometimes simplicity is all it takes. But the number one spot for this year has to go to Motorama Light McQueen. He was only ever given away during the annual 2010 Pitsar Employee Picnic. Apart from the employees that were at the picnic, nobody knows exactly how they were given out, and even less people know how many were made. 
So it's estimated there were about 500 to 2,000. The die cast itself has a Zamac finish with black stripes going down the middle. The number 10 is on the sides and top to celebrate the 10th anniversary of the Pixar picnic. There's some Tetsane Motorama. Of course, I can't forget the famous Pixar ball. You know what? This die cast is really cool. I think I'll buy one myself. All right, just get on eBay and... Oh. Oh my. Moving on to 2011 and 2012, I decided to group these two years together since they're widely considered to be the Cars 2 era. Well, let's begin with Sitch Place, which is Lightning McQueen with Party Wheels. He's exactly what the name would imply, being a simple Cars 2 McQueen with updated Party Wheels. It includes the World Grim Prix logo on a spoiler, his Al and All logos and sponsorships, and a Hudson Hornet Piston Cup logo on his hood. But after him is Lightning McQueen with Travel Wheels. He's the same as Party Wheels, but he's a little bit more expressive, and I like the tire design more. The next spot is another variant of Cars 2 McQueen, being Lightning McQueen with synthetic tires. Considering the fact that Cars 2 never got Precision Series diecast, I think this is about the closest thing we're going to get, and I really like it. Lightning McQueen with metallic finish. Unlike the Silver Racer side series Lightning McQueen with metallic finish, this Lightning McQueen had a red metallic finish. The red metallic paint job makes him look premium. I think his boss is a lot larger than it should be, but he knows that, and he's happy about it. Next is Hudson Hornet Piston Cup Lightning McQueen. He had this paint job in Cars 2 before his World Grand Prix design. It may use a similar mold to Cars 1 McQueen, but I think it's a great change of pace from the design itself. His Rusty's logos were replaced with flame designs. His mouth is a little bit different. A great tribute to Doc Hudson. I might have even put him in first place if it weren't for the number one spot being Lightning McQueen with Racing Wheels. While Cars 2 might not be my favorite movie out of the trilogy, I've always loved Lightning's Cars 2 design. And it's about the closest thing we've ever gotten to a next-gen Lightning McQueen, other than his slightly slimmer Cars 3 mold. 2013 brought us seven new Lightning McQueen variants, with the 7th place one being Hudson Hornet Piston Cup Lightning McQueen with Table. Now it may seem weird to rank him as new, but he does technically have a new accessory. Speaking of things that are only slightly different, but technically a different thing, WGP Lightning McQueen. He's still considered a new release because of his name, and a good name change at that. It's a lot easier than saying Lightning McQueen with racing wheels every time I want to refer to it. Lightning McQueen with Sign. The Sign accessory alone was enough to get this car the spot it got. While it may not be 100% movie accurate, it was still the first time we ever got this sign. Metallic Hudson Hornet Piston Cup Lightning McQueen. Not much has changed apart from the red metallic design, but he's already one of my favorite Cars 2 paint jobs, so this just bumps it up in my opinion. Above that, there was Lightning McQueen with metallic finish. His decals are all painted, but he has this Zamac finish that reminds me of the Motorama diecast. Then we have Lightning McQueen Mit Aufkleben. This was a diecast release in Germany, and his name translates to Lightning McQueen with stickers. As you can see, it uses the same mold and design as a regular Lightning McQueen with bumper stickers, tar stain and all. But he has this cool metallic finish. Again, these metallic finishes are really making these cars a lot better. But the top spot for 2013 has to go to Nature Drive Lightning McQueen. It's hard to believe it took 8 years for this iconic McQueen to be released. Especially when you remember that Muddy Lightning McQueen came out all the way back in the final lap collection. The leaves are very detailed and he has this annoyed expression and looks like he was pulled right out of the movie. Now let's move on to 2014 where sadly, I'll only be ranking one of the diecasts from that year. This year is actually the entire reason I said I was going to rank some of the promos. On the bright side... This was at least a core release. That being Radiator Springs Team Len McQueen with special collector's display case. He might look just look like a regular WGP Len McQueen, but when you take a closer look, you can realize that the World Grand Prix logo is gone. On his spoiler is replaced with this little Radiator Springs Canyon logo, which looks very familiar. 2015 was also a year with few new releases, but again they were really great. I even had a hard time ranking them, but one had to go in last place, and last place is... Determined Lightning McQueen. A simple regular Lightning McQueen is used in the main mold, but everything the aggro Lightning McQueen did is made a million times better with this diecast. Unlike aggro Lightning McQueen, who you could say, you know, he's just determined, this guy, even though he's named Determined McQueen, is much, much angrier. However, I had to give the first place spot to Road Repair Lightning McQueen. He's so detailed with the realistic looking dirt detailing, a lot better than Dirt Track Lightning McQueen and the eyes that look more expressive. He looks more alive. A really incredible release, worthy of the top spot for this year. Alright, 2016 was the last year to have less than three new releases, with one being very rare and one being very iconic. The real one I mentioned is Lightning McQueen with no tires, came in a pack with Mater with no tires. He's based off a very short, like, 20 second scene from Cars 2, but the next car appears for even shorter, about two seconds actually, transforming Lightning McQueen. I've stated my thoughts on this diecast before in a haul video, but I'll say it again. I think it's incredible that the lightning bolts down the middle splits between the Rusty's back half and the Tarman Dynaco front half, ultimately making a really unique diecast. Now moving on to 2017. 
Star Server's leaks and as you can guess, there were a lot of diecast. And Lightning McQueen with hay bales is in the 8th place spot for that year. I'm not going to talk too much about his design since it is Cars 3 mold, and the Cars 3 mold appeared a little bit higher on this year's list, but he comes with some little plastic hay bales and he was released in a 5 pack. Lightning McQueen is Chester Whipple filter. This was an absolutely incredible release. I love the matte finish used to represent the mud and the scared expression, although I wish he used the Cars 3 mold rather than the Cars 1 mold. Next up is Rusty's Racing Center Light McQueen. He's a pretty good diecast with well-made decals that look like they're probably part of the mold rather than part of the paint. His expression is unique too, but he does chip very easily. Cars 3 Light McQueen. He does a great job of representing McQueen's updated Cars 3 design. Things like the mold are different, the Rusty's logo is the bigger, and I think the eyes do look a little bit off, but the expression is good. Light McQueen is a Chester Whipple filter with rubber tires. Everything's the same as the regular Chester Whipple filter diecast, but the rubber tires are a big improvement. Fabulous Lightning McQueen. Not only is this a great paint job, but it's a great tribute to Duck Hudson's original Fabulous Hudson Hornet paint job. Looks like McQueen finally got that blue paint job he always wanted, even if it wasn't what he originally expected. Rusty's Lightning McQueen. This diecast is an excellent modern take on Lightning McQueen's very first paint job. It manages to maintain all the core parts while still updating everything it possibly can. And spot number one has to go to the making of a Cars 3 Lightning McQueen diecast 3 pack. This is a rare scenario where multiple new variants were released in the same multi-pack, so I'm going to rank them all together. It includes Raw Diecast, Painted Diecast, and Rusty's Light McQueen with Metallic Finish. This three-pack was a great way to celebrate the release of Cars 3, and it's really cool how Mattel gave us a look into how these diecasts are really made. Moving on to 2018 to 2019. I'm putting these two together because, one, they have a lot of common, and two, I don't end up with any more years where only two or three new variants were released. 2018 was also the year that many Latin McQueen diecasts were given eye plates, and I'll be ranking notable ones with this change. In fifth place is Cars 3 Latin McQueen with bonus collector card. Just a regular Cars 3 diecast with this little logo card. WGP Latin McQueen with eye plate. Nothing we haven't seen before. The eye plate is an improvement though. Tumbleweed Latin McQueen with eye plate. This time the eye plate makes him look more expressive, his eyes are brighter, and the tumbleweed is a little bit more detailed. Metallic Cars 3 Lightning McQueen. The Cars 3 paint job may not be my favorite, but I do like this variant a lot more. At the top of the list though is Lightning McQueen with eye plate. I know some people prefer not to have eye plates on the cars, but I do really do like all the small details that have been added and improved. Next up is 2020. The distribution of diecast was a little bit weird because of the thing, you know? But when stores did get new diecast, there were some gems. Like in fourth place, we have what the bots just calls Lightning McQueen but he's closer to Metallic Lightning McQueen, this time with an eye plate. This makes him look surprisingly different. Muddy Rusty's Racing Center Lightning McQueen. It's basically identical to Rusty's Racing Center Lightning McQueen, other than his scared expression and the watery decals. They look very cool, but he still does have that problem where he chips easily if you're not careful. Cupcake Lightning McQueen. Underneath all that frosting is a Rusty's Lightning McQueen, and the frosting is a plastic piece that looks like a realistic cupcake with sprinkles. Never expected this guy to get a die cast, but I'm glad he did, and it turned out perfect. Speaking of diecasts that look vaguely like food, my top pick for this year was Metallic Transforming Light McQueen. It looks kind of like a gummy, but really. I chose them because Transforming Light McQueen is already one of my favorite diecasts, and this one just looks even more premium, even better. Now moving on to 2021. This was a great year for new releases because even though we just got some kind of exciting ones, like in 6th place we have Light McQueen with Piston Cup, and in 5th place we have Light McQueen with Cone updated to have an eye plate, we also got some really cool ones like Holiday Hot Shot Light McQueen in 4th place. He's existed before, but this was the first time he's entered the main line. I really like the metallic paint, white walls, and lack of sponsors and logos. Since McQueen's just taking a break and enjoying his Christmas. In third place is another Lightning McQueen, who was from a holiday and made his way into the main line. Easter Buggy Lightning McQueen. Oddly enough, the main mold for the diecast is the Hudson Hornet Piston Cup McQueen, but he has these little rabbit ears to celebrate Easter. The next one is a very cool one, Racing Red Lightning McQueen. He's what I consider to be the closest thing we've ever gotten to an affordable Red Rainsburg Lightning McQueen, it features a shiny Cars 1-esque design on a Cars 3 mold. Looks very premium, and luckily isn't too pricey either. The first place spot for this year is even more premium looking in Golden Rusty's Lightning McQueen. One of my favorite Cars 3 designs with all the same designs, and even better golden shine. Absolutely fantastic release. Now going on to 2022, this is the year I got back into collecting, and I must have been lucky because there were tons of re-releases this year. Of all kinds of cars, not just McQueen. But today we're focused on those McQueens. A lot of them were eye plate variants, so I'll try not to spend too much time on those. In fifth place is Lightning McQueen with Sign with eye plate, followed by Bugmouth Lightning McQueen with eye plate. The bugs are slightly different. 
Then a road repair Light McQueen with eye plate that came in a two pack with the new Mater. The finish line Light McQueen with eye plate, which there's something very interesting that went on with him. So the box uses artwork of Tongue Light McQueen because Finish Light McQueen has never been released as a single. He also has new details on his tire marks where his wheels popped and they fits the mouth plate. By no longer making it as a mouth plate, but as part of the metal mold. The strangest thing about this McQueen though is that in 2023, this variant was released in a five pack. And people, even me, were believing that this was a brand new finish line Light McQueen. And I guess we all just forgot. And at the top of this year's list was Road Trip Light McQueen. I'm counting this as part of the main line because the Road Trip series did eventually become part of the main line. It was a great dash cast to have along with the release of Cars on the Road, and it's accurate to the show. Really, everyone who got this die cast for the first time was really excited. Now moving on to the last year before the final rankings, 2023. It was heavily focused on cars on the road and this list reflects that. So in the 6th place spot we have Road Trip Latin McQueen with alternate expression. The name is exactly what the bots implies being a Road Trip Latin McQueen with a slightly more scared expression. It's a nice one to have but after that is Cryptid Buster Latin McQueen. Using the regular cars on the road mold as a base, he also has its roof lights, cryptid gear, and some camouflage paint on his sides with some logos that say Wayne County Cryptid Buster. Deputy Hazard Latin McQueen. This paint job is from the uh, Cars on the Road episode where McQueen drives into a movie set and accidentally gets apart. It's interesting seeing Light McQueen with a tan paint job, but it's a welcome addition to the line. Road Rumbler Light McQueen. This diecast has tons of realistic looking plates of dark gray metal on both his sides, along with a spoiler. He also includes some dirt details, and most importantly, that mohawk. Dragon Light McQueen. It's wild that after years of practically no Mater's Tall Tales diecast, we got re-releases of Tokyo Mater diecasts. In the main line, nonetheless. This McQueen is a slightly updated version of the original Dragon Light McQueen, and he brings hope to the main line that maybe in the future we'll get even more Mater's Tall Tales diecast. And the number one release for this year is Cave Lightning McQueen. All his dirt decals are so small and realistic, the tires aren't completely round, and he's done with a huge eyebrow that makes him look like a caveman. Everything about this diecast is perfect, down to the matte finish. And now, for the moment you've all been waiting for the final rankings where I'll take all the McQueens from all the years and rank them with each other, rather than just from the individual years. But before that, I'd like to quickly go over three cars I forgot. Oops. Those cars were Red Rainsburg McQueen from 2007, Metallic Lightning Storm Light McQueen from 2008, and Metallic Fabulous Light McQueen from 2018. I did make sure to put them in the final rankings, though. And with that accounted for, it leaves us with an impressive 102 diecast. Again, please remember that these are just my opinions. If you like some of the cars that I didn't, that's okay, there's nothing wrong with that. So without further ado, let's begin. And with everything said and done, that concludes today's ranking. Uh, it's probably the longest I've ever worked on a single video, but I still had a lot of fun. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.